Hey, this is Eric, and in this video on accessibility tools, we will be looking at speech to text tools. Our students have so many amazing ideas in their minds, and we want to make sure they're able to get those words from their heads into writing. However, if a student struggles with typing or spelling, they may take those big, awesome ideas and shrink them down to smaller words and shorter sentences. We're going to look at two free and easy tools to help with this. The first speech-to-text tool we will explore is voice typing in Google Docs. This is not a tool that needs to be installed as it's already just a part of Google Docs. When a student is working in a document, all they have to do is click on the Tools menu and then choose Voice Typing from the drop-down menu. This will open a floating microphone. To start dictating to the document, simply click on the microphone icon. Now anything I say will automatically be typed into the document, period. This can be a wonderful way for students to express themselves if they struggle with typing or spelling, period. When done, we just click the microphone again to stop the speech to text. As you can see, you are also able to say punctuation. For a full list of all the commands you can speak, click the question mark icon below the microphone and this will open up a help menu with all of the details. In addition, note that you can choose a different language to speak by clicking above the microphone and then scrolling down to select the language or accent of your choice. Now, voice typing works great if you're inside of a Google Doc, but what if you want to do speech to text in something else, like maybe a quiz in a Google Form? Now, certainly you could still use voice typing in Docs and then just copy and paste that into the other website. But there is actually a Chrome Web Extension that can be used when not in a Google Doc. This second tool is called Voice in Voice Typing. This is a Chrome extension that can be installed from the Chrome Web Store. Once it's installed, we'll have a little microphone icon in the top right-hand corner of Chrome with all the rest of our extensions. So let's say we're filling out a Google Form. All we need to do is click inside of the text box that we need to complete and then click on the Voice in Voice Typing extension and start speaking. This is just a test. We then click the microphone icon again to stop the speech to text and there we have it. Our speech has now been converted to text inside of the Google Form. With these two free and easy tools, anyone can benefit from speech to text.